in simplification 14, we're asked the same sort of question, remove the brackets and simplify it. We're going to do this exactly as we did before. And I'm going to go through the step by step to make it really clear for you. Okay, so in this question, you're asked to do a plus 3 times a plus 2. We've used the same method before. We've got the a times a minus 2. We have the plus 3 times a minus 2. So we have it broken up into two pieces. a times a, you know, is the special number a squared. just means a times itself. So a times a gives you a squared. a times minus 2 is minus 2a. Plus 3 times a is plus 3a. Plus 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Now, if you go back to some of the simplification questions you did earlier, you remember you're no longer really having to think about this as three groups of a minus 2. We're just applying the method plus 3 times plus a. You know this is a plus a. And plus 3 times minus 2 gives you the minus 6. So we end up with a squared plus a minus 6 when we tidy that up and simplify it a little bit. And then in order to answer that and put that into the question, we have to use this symbol here. So to sh represent a squared on our computer, we type a, and we use that little arrow there. That little arrow is just above the number 6 key, if you want to find it. So it's a to the power of 2 plus a minus 6. Put that into the answer box, click on the submit, and you'll get the answer you want.